Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on some goggles most of you have probably never heard of. These are the Engine Weapon Classic Goggles. You can find these on engineswim.com if you want to get them. They're about $32. Uh, otherwise, you have to go and travel to Australia. My dad actually got these for me in Australia on one of his business trips. Since I already have a pair of these, I actually got these about two years ago at a meet in California. So I wanted the newer pair to try out. I needed a new pair anyway. Those ones are kind of beat up, so... Yeah. I thought I'd give a smaller company kind of a shout out because most people in the US don't really know about them. You Sometimes you can find them at small meets like I did for uh, the pair in California that I found. They just had like a little kiosk, so I thought that was um, pretty cool. Um, but I haven't seen them at any other meets lately, so probably just online is where you could find them. So here in the box, they have a box, <laughs> and inside of it are some extra nose pieces. An extra strap for the goggles, which I thought was pretty cool in case they rip. They also have um, a bag in here that you can put your goggles in to keep them protected. Okay, so here's what the goggles look like out of the box. Um, oh, this here. The seals on the newer pair that I have are actually softer than the older pair, which I thought was pretty cool um, because my older pair that I had back when I used to wear them a lot, during long sets when I would wear them for a long time, they would start to hurt kind of here in the inner part. They were just... Oh, that is me. <laughs> but when I put these on, like last month when I got them, uh, they haven't been hurting at all, so they must have just changed the seals a little bit. They also suction a lot better than the Speedos, I think, because um, when I'm at practice and I don't double cap, and we do starts and sprints, my Speedos, they leak in the corners or something, or they're like flip down and then back up. I've been wearing the past month, and sometime through the last month we did starts, and I was all nervous because like, oh no, these are new goggles, now they're going to leak and my eyes going to get all red and it's going to sting and I'm going to be in misery, I'm going to die. <laughs> so when we did our start, I pushed them on really tight and I dove and I was like, oh, no leaking at all. The lenses do come forward farther than the Speedos do. Um, the Speedo goggles are just more rounded and flat, whereas these, they come out forward and they have a flat part on the top and then the lens, so you don't have uh, very good vision on the top or bottom, but that's okay. The peripheral is good. It's just like the Speedos, I think, uh, but it's just the top and bottom view, so when you do wear them for like the first couple times, it will look a little bit strange, um, but it doesn't affect swimming at all. My Michael Phelps goggles didn't have very good peripheral and they really affected my swimming, whereas these, the top and bottom vision, doesn't affect your swimming at all. It's totally fine. It just kind of looks different than what you might be used to with Speedos, but it's fine. All right, the sides, not sides, but kind of the front right here, they're sharp. I mean, this is sharp. And I decided to make sure that this was a full, in-depth review, I would wear them for the meet that I had last weekend. So I wore them for my first race, and I'm standing there behind my block getting ready, and I double cap, and I pull my cap all the way over the front of my goggles, and um, I reached up, and there was a hole right, right here on the edge of the goggles, and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> uh, so I ended up doing the race anyway, and it didn't rip any further, thank goodness. Um, but when I got out, I took it off, and I was like, what could have caused that? So I felt the edge of the goggles where it ripped, and it's sharp. One thing about these goggles that I could recommend the engine to fix a little bit is probably maybe like sand down the sides a little bit. Not sand. File. File down the sides a little bit. <laughs> so they're not so sharp. I don't think people want their caps getting ripped. The straps are round, which is pretty convenient for putting them on really fast because the Speedos straps are flat and I hate it when they get twisted when you put them on and you end up having to like run your fingers along them like a hundred times to get them flat and when I put my speedo goggles on the straps have to be flat like totally flat no tangles wrinkles whatever. these don't do that which I thought was pretty cool and then just to make sure um, they don't roll off they are f they go from round to flat across here on the back so then they end up laying on your head pretty flat, um, which I thought was pretty convenient. Really funny story. <laughs> I swam with a different group this past week or two, and the coach of that group 
likes to push people in and he decided to push me in. I'm like holding them like this and he starts pushing me in so as I'm falling in the pool I'm putting these on as fast as humanly possible. I'm literally like <gasps> and since the straps um, don't get twisted because they're round and the seals are so good on these they didn't leak. I literally got the lenses on my eyes as I was going underwater and it didn't leak. So I thought that was pretty awesome. That was a great unintentional way to test them. <laughs> Something kind of weird that I found on these goggles is that the, on the sides, there's no place to grab when you're taking them off. And then I end up like pinching myself right here as I'm trying to pull them off. I'll show you right now. Uh, let me put them on. <sighs> Don't these look cool? I actually really like these. Um, so I have them on here, and the sides, there's nowhere to grab to get them off right here. I can't grab anywhere. My fingers just slip right off. So I'm having to grab the strap right here, and then since it's so tight against my head, I end up having to grab the skin, and I'm like pulling my skin, and see, I end up having to pull the straps to get them off. Now the only problem with that is that then I'll have like little little pinch marks after practice right here, little red marks, um, so that's kind of annoying. No other goggle I've ever used have done that. Most of them have a small little um, like ledge here on the side, like little where it goes in a little bit so you, you can like latch your fingers onto it and pull them off. These are the only kind of goggles I think I've ever had that have that to them so it's not a huge negative but I just thought I'd mention it to you guys. Ooh, are these hot or not? Yes, I love these goggles. I would definitely recommend them to everyone to buy. Um, I would only recommend wearing them in a meet if you don't double cap or if you don't pull your second cap like over the edge of your goggles. Um, so I'm not going to be wearing these in a meet again. It's kind of sad though because I really like the way they suction to my eyes. Please leave me a comment down below on uh, what your opinion is of these goggles if you have them and also if you know where to find them here in the US Like are they sold in a store that I don't know about? I'd love to know and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next video Bye I love green smoothies I have one of these almost every day and I know it looks a little gross But if you guys are interested in this gross looking smoothie that's actually delicious uh, Leave me a comment down below and maybe I'll do a recipe video if you guys really want it. Engine <laughs> Did you just sneeze? <laughs> them online for 32 goggles on enginswim.com. 32 pairs of your usual goggles and you can get a pair of these. These are 32 goggles. <laughs> now I said it again. What? I'm like, ah, I can't see! <laughs> I really hope they can't hear you chewing in the background. So, what am I talking about? This is really bad. My leg's falling asleep. Seriously, it's like numb.